Hi YouTube, I'm Ryan and this is the Elevate Project to help elevate your remote work office productivity and online presentations. In this video, we're going to show you how to embed live video for your next keynote online presentation. When you're presenting live, the audience can focus on you and the content at the same time. When you're on a Zoom meeting, your video gallery is on one side and your presentation takes up the rest of the screen. Since the pandemic, I've been working on elevating my online presentations and bringing my presentations to life. I wanted to embed my live video webcam while I was presenting certain slides to emulate that experience. My solution was using a software called OBS, open broadcasting software. I stumbled upon OBS as it was highly recommended for live streaming, which is what we are doing on Zoom and other video platforms when presenting online. Now, OBS is a great piece of free software, but it doesn't have the same simplicity and it does have a learning curve and can take up a lot of your CPU resources, which can affect your overall stream especially if it is a company work laptop that most likely will not be the best or fastest CPU and GPU. There are two ways I've been sharing my presentation with my live video using a feature called virtual camera in OBS, which replaces my webcam feed into Zoom with my OBS feed. Now this is okay, but it is not as effective without sharing your screen or a way to share your application without showing all the technical background of OBS. What would be the best of both worlds is to have Keynote or PowerPoint to give you an option to embed your live video webcam, like adding a picture or object into your slides. And now Apple has updated Keynote last September that does exactly that. They did it the way I originally had in mind, and I'm excited because this makes it much simpler to execute. There are times that you want to be noticed and you want to be recorded, and you might be presenting to an audience that may have never met you in person with new hires during the pandemic or other reasons, and you may want to show your video while presenting because you want to show your expression and passion of the subject and to show your confidence and expertise. So let's dive in and show you where to find this new feature and how I like to use it. All right, everyone, now we are in Keynote. All you need to do is make sure that Keynote is completely updated to the newest version. The version for this is 11.2, Keynote version 11.2. It's a simple white background. I just put some words for a title screen. And now let's get into it and see where we would want to put our live video feed. So on my other slide here, I'm just gonna show you step-by-step -step how to add this feature. So you can see here it says add live video feature. You need to go to is media, then live video. So we click on media, then you're gonna see an option here, which is live video. Now you're gonna most likely see something that's blank or your default camera. So in this case, you can see, I kind of put here some, some bullet point, set the source to your webcam. So you, there's a couple ways of doing this. You can actually click on the camera icon, and from here, you're gonna notice that says default camera, and this turns the video camera on and off. So what we want to do is go to the right hand side here and you're going to see style, uh, live video, arrange. If you don't, just hit the format button and then go to live video. From here, you want to change that source to the source that you'd like to have. Now for me, I didn't preset this up. I wanted to set this up as if I just updated Keynote. So what I need to do is hit the plus sign and add a new webcam. So I'm gonna put here my webcam and I'm gonna choose the CamLink 4K. So here, now you can see that I am here. I'm, I, I have my webcam here, now you can see me. So I'm gonna add that in. So it's nice now I have the webcam feature right here on my slide. Now you can resize this any way that you like and then position it. But what I'm gonna do and what I like to do in OBS is I like to have a circle. I have like a circle of my outline for my webcam. And in order to do that, you can actually just go here where it says mask 
under live video style, you can scale this. And then under mass, there's a drop down menu. So right now it's set to 16 by nine. And I, you can do it to four by three, two by three square and circle and custom. So for a lot of my presentations online, for Zoom especially, I like the circle. I think the circle gives a little bit better um, uh, positioning and where you like to put this and it's not as discreet. You can scale this up so you can zoom it in a little bit closer. And what we can do here now is just reposition it and size. So I'm gonna put it right here. So as you can see, it says, hey, now, my name is Ryan, I'm doing a live presentation. This is how to add a live video feature. You hit the media button and then you go to live video. And then from there, if you don't see it, you can go to live source, add your source in. For me, I added the cam link 4K. And then you can change it any way you like and reposition it on your slide. So for myself, I typically like to put the live video head in my presentations in two main spots. One is in the main beginning of the slide while I'm presenting my topic, and then at the end. I will add it in particular slides that kind of make sense where I need to see or show expression or expertise on something specific on the slide. So how does this look like? So why don't we just go back to the first slide here and let's hit play. All right, so now we just started our presentation. So I could say, hello, welcome. This is my presentation on live video on Keynote. This is the Elevate Project. My name is Ryan Garday, and I'm. this is about elevating your online presentations. Now, as I move to the next slide, as you remember, we added that live video. So here, now you can see my, my live video webcam right on the slide. So this is a great feature to have, especially when you're doing your presentations on Zoom. And because you have either using the application feature to share your screen, or if you're sharing the screen in a different, in a different uh, video conferencing platform, you can then move to finish off your presentation with the whole screen on that last slide, which is really nice. Now, if you found value in this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you think this is a feature that you would use on your next online presentation or in the future, comment below. And if you like content like this one, consider subscribing and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified the next time I upload a new video. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.